brand new, much smaller Toronto City Council attends their very first meeting since the October election. It was mostly a day of ceremony. The mayor and councillors were sworn in, and the mayor made his first speech to his new council, including four members elected for the very first time. Afterwards, they all came down here to the City Hall Rotunda for a little post-meeting celebration. That's where we caught up from, for, with some councillors and asked them how they're feeling now that the hotly contested smaller council will have to get to work. It was fantastic. Uh, you know, it was actually a little emotional coming in there. They've got the pipes going. We did the smudging. Uh, and you're in a, a room full of supporters. Uh, of course, my friends and family, uh, but everyone's friends and family. And you feel that warmth and that energy and that positivity. Uh, and it was a really great experience. It always feels like the first day of school. You know, you're a little nervous on the way down here. Uh, you're going to meet your new class. You don't, you don't quite know how to, you know what to expect and you meet some of the uh, you know the new kids for the first time uh, although there was a bit of an eerie feeling today it looked a lot smaller a bit of a, a different feeling to see a lot of those empty seats in the background and uh, and a lot of the you know the former colleagues that are no longer there uh, the faces that are no longer there kind of bittersweet in his first address to his new council, Mayor John Tory, Tory barely made mention of the council cuts. Instead, he focused his speech on what he's framing as Toronto's priority challenges, safety, affordable housing and transit. He spoke about his goals to tackle gun violence, to stand up against hate and discrimination, to provide positive pathways of hope to young people growing up in marginalized communities and to invest more in families who are struggling. Putting aside for this moment how we got here in this number, I hope that in the cause of showing the best of local government, showing the best of Toronto and the best of the talented people who were elected here to this council and here in this chamber today, that we will be able to discharge our duties in a way that people can be proud of and that can show just how much we can do together. During the meeting, council also appointed longtime councillor Francis Nunziata as speaker and Shelley Carroll as deputy speaker. Now, coming up just ahead on City News, we get our first look at the new chambers and highlight some of the changes there. Let's look at what lies ahead. I said on election night that I fully intend to capitalize on the strong mandate given to me by people across the City of Toronto to put my shoulder back to the wheel and help us usher in the continued progress that our city needs and so richly deserves. That was Mayor John Tory addressing his much smaller council for the very first time in the first city council meeting since the October elections. And a smaller council means a lot more space in the chambers. You can see behind me that there are now only 25 seats for councillors. The entire back row now sits empty. Chairs, signs, microphones and monitors have been removed. The city tells us those changes didn't cost anything, but there were other improvements made to the chambers over the past few months. Some carpet on the second floor of the chambers as well as public seating cushions have been replaced. There were touch-ups on the councillor's desks and also paint touch-ups and window cleanings and some design changes to make the chambers more accessible. All of this is a physical reminder of a fundamental reshaping of how Toronto is governed. Mayor Tory shared his hopes for a second term after he was sworn in. I was tempted to say, where is everybody? And then I thought, well, during the formal proceedings, that might be a misunderstood. It, it's going to be different. Uh, it's going to be different in terms of the work that people have to do. I mean, there are still, as I've been saying, three million people out there to be served. There are still big issues to be dealt with. And so it's going to fall upon us now as a smaller council to organize ourselves in a way that allows us to do that work. Uh, to get it done as productively as we can uh, and that's exactly what we'll set about doing tomorrow and, and a week from tomorrow and but it's it, it'll be a challenge and it'll be very different